When you get invited to join a Zoom breakout room, you will receive an invitation pop-up in the center of your screen. Once that invitation pops up, all you need to do is click on join. But don't panic because your main screen will disappear while you're waiting to be placed in the breakout room. Once you're in the breakout room, you will receive a message on your screen that says you are in the breakout room. But it should be pretty obvious because you'll see the other people there. Your video and audio should be on so that way you can carry on a conversation. The purpose of the breakout room is the equivalent of your small table talk conversation at live seminars when the facilitator has asked you to drill down a little further into a subject. You can take turns speaking or you can just have a lively conversation, but no matter which way you choose, the whole point is you are discussing that topic. The first time you enter your breakout group, you can quickly go around the room and say your name, your company, and what you do. You'll notice that if you turn the video off, your name will show up or your photo. And it's a little more difficult to have a conversation virtually if people can't see you, if they can't read your facial expressions or body language. So I encourage you to leave the video on. If this screen is too small for you, then you can just click in the corner to go to the larger screen. And that way you can see everybody a little more. If you need to leave the breakout room, you can click down in this right hand corner here. If you want to show a reaction, a thumbs up reaction or a clapping reaction, then you can click on these. If you need to ask for help, you also have that function here and that's reaching out to the moderator, to the host saying, hey, can you come in here and help us? You could record, but that requires permission from the host, so you don't even have to bother trying that. And then you have chat. You can chat with everybody in your breakout session or with individual people in your breakout session. When your session is getting close to ending, you will receive a little one minute warning and you can either manually return to the main session or you can just wait for the clock to run down and be put back automatically. It's at this point where you are deciding who is going to represent your group in any kind of share out. Maybe it's one of you, maybe two or three of you want to speak, but it's during this portion that you wrap up your conversation and decide who is going to share the ideas. If you don't like that warning in the middle of the screen, you can move it off to the side so that way you can still see everybody's photo. Now you'll be put back into the main session, so again, you lose everybody's photo, so don't panic, you're returning to the main session. And once you're back in the main session, your video and your audio will be on, so be aware of that. Make sure if you don't want to be seen that your video is off, if you don't want to be heard that you have muted yourself.